Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. Nice to have you over here. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How was your Friday at work, Wendy? Do you have to work tomorrow? Yes. You have to? Yes, tomorrow. I have to. What time do you finish working tomorrow? Uh, in, uh, in theory, uh -huh. <laughs> 12, <laughs> 12 uh <-huh>. 30. <laughs> but it's not like that. But client went uh, one or one thirty. Well, mm. ah, okay, <laughs> it varies. I yes. see, Wendy. Okay, and Saira, your daughter is using your spot again. Otra vez le están usando su su puesto, Saira. Good evening. Hi, Arnoldo. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, Saira. My, my daughter no finished the class. Ah, okay. But that spot is also nice. Ahí donde está también está bonito. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. okay. Finish. <laughs> Eh, es la última semana que tiene de clases y me, ah you can say y, this y saca. this is the last week you can say this yeah. this is the last week and next you go back right <laughs> you return to your spot <laughs> y me manda a mí para otro lado ah okay okay well good to see you everyone <laughs> guys I will take the attendance <laughs> I will ya estoy aquí por si ya pasó la segunda línea. This moment. <laughs> okay, so let's begin with Ana Beatriz. Ana, no. Okay, Ana Lilian. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Martinez. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Can you hear me? Jose Galileo. Present. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Okay, Lily. Jonathan. Present. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Present. Thank you, Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. María Concepción, María Elena, Mayra Moreno, Nelson Cabarrete. I hear Miss. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. And then okay. Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo, Zaira Larín. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. And Jenny Suley. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. So let's begin. Okay, Jenny, thank you. I'm going to share with you letters from names of animals. I'm going to share with you letters from different animals. And okay, Jonathan, no problem. I understand. And you have to try to unscramble them. Let's go up. Mostrar acá some letters. Okay, for example, this is number one. Okay, one moment. I'm going to zoom in the font. Okay, so here we have different letters, and here we have the name of one animal, but we have to discover the name of the animal. Aquí hay varias letras desordenadas que juntas componen el nombre de un animal. La idea es que ustedes lo descubran y lo vamos a ir como jugando en turnos. Pero esta es la prueba. Carlos, do you know? 
what that animal is. ¿Cómo fue el, el, el elephant. Elephant. Ajá. Yo voy a poner diferentes letras desordenadas, eh, desordenadamente. Pero ustedes tienen que decirme que, cuál es la palabra del animal. ¿Qué animal está ahí? Así como acá está la palabra elephant. But is not organized. Está desordenada. Let's try again. Vaya, vamos a probar con, con otra. And then we go in the real one. Ok. Number two. One moment. Okay, here you have another one. What is the name of the animal? Ahí, Lily, está el nombre de un animal. Butterfly. Butterfly, ajá, uh -huh. that's the one. So we will play in turns. Vamos a jugar con, con turnos para que todos puedan ahí brainstorm, para que puedan pensar. Okay, so Lily, we're going to start with you. Vamos a empezar con usted, Lily. Easy, okay. Vamos a poner una easy. Only Four letters. Four letters, Lily. Okay. What is the name of the animal? Lion. Lion. Aha, uh -huh, that's the one. Lion. Thank you, Lily. Okay, let's go on. Okay. Let's continue with Nelson. Okay, Nelson. This okay. is the one for you. What is that animal? Oh. Hmm? <laughs> Do you have an idea? No, Miss, permítame. Enla, no. Enla. ¿Hm? What is that? I'm sorry. ¿A oh. cuál se refiere? Sorry. Motip uh, ena. Ena. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, no. No. La... No. No, Miss. Okay, let's get no. some help. Juan Carlos, do you know? No. I don't have idea, teacher. Okay. And what about you, Arnoldo? Do you know that one? Well. Well, that's the one. Uh huh. Well. What is a whale is the biggest animal in the sea? Ballena. Uh -huh. That's the one. And this is the correct way to put it. Whale, that is the right, the right spelling. So for you, for you to know. Okay, let's continue with the next one. Okay, Brian, can you help us with this one. What is that animal? Ah, just. Uh, you want to see the elephant, but it's pig. No, only, uh huh, it is pig. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue. Okay, Wendy. Let's see, vamos a ver, okay, hold on. Okay, this is the one, Wendy. What is that animal? Turtle. That's the one, uh-huh, total, correct, okay. Thank you. Let's continue. Okay. Let's try with the one here. Okay. Can you try, Saida? 
What is the name of that animal? No idea. No idea. Okay. And what about you, Jenny? Do you have one one idea? I don't know, teacher. No. Okay. Snake, teacher. A snake. Uh -huh. a That's snake. the one. That's the one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let's try Arnoldo. Okay. This is the one. Which is the animal? Hippo. A hippo. Mm -hmm. Correct. That was fast. Very, very fast. Okay. Now a difficult one. Let's see who can who can guess it. Okay, this one is for all of you. This one is for all of you. What is that animal? A book lady. So, so it's very similar. Ladybug. That's, uh -huh, that's the one. Do you know this animal? Lady, ladybug? Are you familiar with that one? Um, mariquita. Aja, uh -huh. esa la que nosotros llamamos mariquita. In English, it's called ladybug. Okay, and this is the last one. Okay. Mayra, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you try to tell us what, what animal we have over here? Um, no, no sé, teacher. No, no sé. okay, and you, Carlos? Do you know? Octo octopus. The octopus. Uh-huh, that's the one. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So it was just a, a little exercise to practice different names of different animals. But in this moment, we will continue talking about restaurants and we will complete a form. It's a bad service form. Okay, what do you have to do? You have to complete complete the, the blank spaces, fill in the blanks. Each, each part contains its words, like cada parte contiene sus, sus palabras. Para la segunda parte, son esas. Para la siguiente parte, las de ahí. Okay, the ones you see over here. So you have to read it and then we will complete it. That is what we will be doing. Okay, and we will start with Galileo. Galileo, can, can you help me? What will be the first word to use? What do you think? Okay, I am, I am ordered. Another I am, possibility? I am the food. I am smell. I am? No. So, I am worse. You only have three possibilities. Service, complain, and writing. Ah, I was looking for number two. Okay. Uh -huh. I am two. Oh, the food. I am two. Writing to complain about the food and the service at your restaurant. Hello, are you in mute, Pam? You are in mute, I'm sorry. <laughs> Those are the answers. I am writing to complain about the 
Okay. About the service at your restaurant. Y ahí estamos utilizando las primeras tres, tres palabras. Ok, yeah. next one. Let's continue with the next one. Juan Carlos, can you help us with number four, please? Y ahora vamos a usar however, noisy, smell, order, and words. However means but, but is the formal. It's the formal way. Es lo mismo que but, pero eso es formal, however. My friend and I went to the restaurant for lunch at around 12.30 on Friday, 7th May. We... We order... We order... Mm -hmm. Yes, at that's my one table. Word. We order, we order a quiet table. Uh-huh. Thank you, Juan Carlos. I'm going to stop you there, but now Ellie will continue. Ellie, can you help us with number five? Are you there, Ellie? No. Jenny, could you continue? Rodrigo, can you continue? However. Uh -huh. However, we're given one near the kitchen door. Mm -hmm. Correct, but for however. But, okay. Yes. However, is the one we have here, right? Pero es lo mismo que but. But we were given or we got one table near the kitchen. So it was noisy. It was a lot of noise. Okay. Can you continue with the next one? Ana. Hello, Ana. O se acaba de conectar, Ana. No sé si ya... Yes, so teacher, tenía and... problemas de conexión. No, ah, ahorita okay. voy conectando. Ok, Ana, that's all right. Can you continue, Omar? Number six. One moment, please. Mm -hmm. Ok, we will give him a moment, but you guys, you can think about your own idea. Le vamos a dar un momento a Omar para que piense qué podemos poner and you can think about your, your own option. Será no es teacher ahí? No es there? Yes, that was the one. It was very oh. noisy. It was very noisy. Okay, can you try with the next one, Omar, number seven? It was very noisy. Is worse. Uh -huh. To make matters worse. Thank you, Omar. That's the one. Okay. Now let's continue. Uh, Arnoldo, number eight. We have all the smell from the kitchen as well. We had all the smell. Yes, that's the one. Thank you, Arnold. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down in this moment. We continue with part number three. Okay, Brian, number 10. Sería de las tres. Uh, these are no. the options available. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wendy, can you help Brian? 
Do you have one idea? What do you think we could use in number nine? Portions. Uh, thank you, Wendy, oh, no. but it's not, not that one. Do you have another idea, Laura, about the word we could use in number nine? The food, when it was finally. Consider quizás, teacher. Consider. Uh, no, no, Laura, but thank you. We are just using the, the words that we see here, only those ones. But you just connected, right, Laura? So it's okay. Can you help us, Juan Carlos? Number nine, do you have one idea? And it's finally portions. Portions. No, Juan Carlos, but thank you. Let's try. Uh, do you have a comment, Arnoldo? Maybe taken? Taken. No, but thank you, Arnoldo. Would you like to, to try Nelson, number nine? Read the context. It says, I'm when sorry, it was sorry. finally, uh -huh, it was uh, finally, uh, it's a, a servant. Uh -huh. That's the one, Nelson. Thank you. When the food was served, was called. And had to be, okay, let's continue with that one. Do you have an idea about that one, Carlos? Number 10. Had to be back to the kitchen. What can we use? Only? Only? No. But thank you for trying, Carlos. Eli, do you have an idea? I think she's not no, there. No, teacher. Ah, no. Okay. Okay, Galileo, do you have one idea? Um, sorry, ma'am. No? Um, please let me know about... about Speak. About my? Sorry, I, I understand. I, I was. Oh, you are in, thinking. Uh, thinking about the possibilities. No, mom, I, I don't have in the, I didn't have in the class. I, I don't understand. What do you are do? Ah, ok. Ahorita lo que estamos tratando de hacer es de completar, completar esta forma de quejas. Ah, y tenemos que utilizar ah, okay. las palabras que están en la parte derecha. Uh -huh. Only portions, root, and taken. Solo esas four options para completar okay. el, el part. Number 10. Ajá, okay. que sería number 10. The food when it was finally served was all and had to be uh, taken back to the kitchen. Uh -huh. That's the one we can use here. They return the food. Thank you, Galileo. Number 10, okay. taken. Okay. Number 11, side. Number 11, not. That, what can we use? We have three options, Saira. No, it's 
No idea. No idea. No. Okay. Lily and you? Do you have one idea? Number 11? Are you there, Lily? No, Lily? Ah, okay. If you would like to, if you want to like analyze the, the information a little bit more, I'm going to give you a moment. Les voy a dar entonces un tiempo para que completen la última parte. Okay, para que piensen todos y luego comparamos. We compare the answers. Lo que nos hace falta es esta parte. The second part of it. And let's check in about five minutes. In unos cinco minutos quizás revisamos juntos to see if we have the same options. Lily, vamos a, a comenzar con usted cuando, cuando pase el tiempo. Vamos en la number 11, Lily. Pero ahorita tiene tiempo, okay. tiene tiempo para analizar. Pero es solo esa o las otras también. Vamos a hacerlo todo, pero vamos a empezar con, con usted para ver la number 11. Ok. Ajá. In one moment, in five minutes. Teacher, I, I have a question. Tell me. Sorry, acabo de venir. Eso no está en el libro. No, it's not in the book. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome.
in one minute we start we start checking your your answers Okay, so Lily, what do you think about number 11? Portion. Mm, wait, hold on. Uh, when final third, uh -huh. uh, no, no, Lily, but thank you. Thank you for trying. Guys, can you use the chat, please? Send me number 11. Para uh, verlo. No, it's not that one, Eli. It's inside here. The options are already given. Ya están dadas las opciones, Eli. Están acá, en la parte derecha. Okay, let me look at the chat. Thank you, Laura. Uh -huh. Okay, Arnoldo, Rodrigo. Juan Carlos, and you, 11. Do you have one idea, eh, Juan Carlos, or no? Ah, okay. Yes, that's the one. So this is not only, that's the one. Can you send number 12, please? Can you send by chat number 12? Not only that, but the word small, where small. Thank you, Rodrigo. All right, Juan Carlos. Okay. And Jenny, what is your opinion? I don't see it in the chat. In the chat? No, que no la veo en el chat. No sé qué, qué opina. What do you think? Portions. Uh huh. Thank you. But portions. the portions, the portions were small, and that is what you have there. Thank you. Number thirteen. Can you send it in the chat, please? Number thirteen. Uh huh. Ruth. The waiters were Ruth. Okay. Thank you. Number fourteen. Let's continue with number 14. Wendy, when we finally got the... Number 14, Wendy. And you can also send your opinion by chat, guys. Number 14. Overcharge? Overcharge. Uh, no, overcharge. No. Overcharge es como sobrecargar, sobrecargar una cuenta o cargar de más en una factura. Overcharge. Pero, ajá, viendo en el chat, es option. Esta sería la opción. When we got the bill, la factura. When we got the bill, we found two pounds. What is the next one? Number 15, what are your opinions? Me perdí, teacher, después de when we finally got qué? The bill. Ah. The bill. Okay. Okay. Ajá. Ahí sí sería esta. Overcharge. 
overcharge, que les habían cobrado overcharge alrededor de dos, dos libras. I don't know what it could be, but yes, overcharge. 16, number 16, what is your opinion? Number 16. I pointed this, I mentioned this to the waiter, but he, that, shout, donde dice shouted, eso es gritar, shouted. Number 16. Number 16 is ignore, yes. Ignore. And number 17 will be, he screamed at me because I did not leave a, a tip, tip. A tip. Uh -huh. tip en el vocabulario de comida significa propina, ¿verdad? a tip. Okay, thank you, Ana, that's the one. Number 18, we only have three options. No, aquí ya solo hay tres opciones. Number 18, I would like you to this matter. Matter, asunto. This matter. What would be the word? Uh -huh. I would like you to consider. To consider this matter. Mm -hmm. And take the necessary action. I would like an apology in full of the bill. What is the next one? Number 19. One idea. Rodrigo, do you have one idea? Number 19. There are different opi opinions. Uh, hearing. Thank you. Ahí sería refund. Vamos a ocupar refund. Que es reembolso. Queremos un reembolso de la factura. El dinero. The money back. A refund of the bill. Y number 20. Ahí sí es la última. Hearing. I, I sent this by chat, se los envié al grupo. I know there are many new words. Yo sé que habían varias palabras nuevas. Because of the time, I won't be able to give them to you here. Por el tiempo no se las voy a poder dar todas, pero la envié en el chat por si ustedes quieren pues, buscarlas, ¿verdad? Y expandir su vocabulary. Okay, so today we, we will have a little review of sequence, sequence words. We will be working on that a little bit more. Um, okay, in the last classes, we have talked about how to express sequence, right? Um, okay, how to express sequence. Sequence words. Okay. I'm going to give you more options today. Les voy a dar un poquito más de opciones para que expandamos más nuestro vocabulary. First, ok, para iniciar, aquí voy a ponerle las options. Está first, and we can also use firstly. Ok, this is another possibility. Firstly. And remember the comma, we use a comma, right? Y mencionamos que siempre vamos a utilizar la coma. Firstly, to start, to begin. Okay. All these options will work in the same way. Todas funcionan para lo mismo, para comenzar algo. In the beginning, I don't know if we have that one in there beginning, you continue your idea, and, and first of all, right, to begin, sorry, 
first of all. Okay, so you can use all those options to start one, one idea. Pueden utilizar todas esas. To continue. Yes, Juan Carlos. Cuando pone la coma, eh, hay que hacer un espacio para decir lo que va a decir después. Eso significa la coma. O, o cómo lo interpretamos. La coma. Sí. Uh, sí, como un como parar como first y va el primer paso, ¿verdad? First, you, por eh, ejemplo, first, coma, I wake up. Como estas las usamos para, para hablar de procesos, ¿verdad? De steps, Juan Carlos. Entonces es como que va enumerando eh, los sucesos y sí, quizás hace un pequeño espacio de tiempo. First, y luego ya menciona la idea. Okay. It's like a pause. Ajá, uh -huh, like a pause. Thank you. That is a good, a good way to, to put it. Okay, so here we have options to put in the middle. Estas pueden ponerlas en, en medio, ¿verdad? De la secuencia. In the middle. Okay, you can use first, well, second, third, Like this, as si quieren usar los números, second, third, fourth, fifth. You can use numbers if you want to do it like that. Other possibilities would be also in addition. This is another possibility. In addition, this is another option. And uh, furthermore, furthermore. Okay. Todas estas sirven como para incluir, dar, como decir, además. That pueden usar also, in addition. And furthermore, they have the same meaning. The only change, the only change is that furthermore is formal. We use it in formal writing. And that could be another option. For example, I like, well, I'm going to put it here. Uh, I have many problems. Also, also, uh, my mom is sick. In addition, In addition, I have many tests to take, for example. Okay. Estos que les acabo de dar no son meramente para mostrar secuencia, sino para incluir, incluir más, como en el sentido de además. Las usan para agregar más detalles a lo que están mencionando. Y pueden variar para no solo usar and, and, and. You can use also, in addition, or furthermore. They have the same meaning. Do you have a question about those ones? No sé si tienen alguna duda de estas. No. ¿No? ¿Cómo se traduce por? Furthermore, teacher. Como además. Además. Ajá, además. In addition, como en adición. But furthermore, it's like además. Yes. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell in, me. In, in, in addition, 
Mm -hmm. mm, the pronoun pronounce is literal, D, así como, como la D de nosotros. Addition. Addition. Mm -hmm. Es que he escuchado, por ejemplo, education. No mm -hmm. sé si es lo correcto, pero he oído education. en algunas ocasiones que dice you, ajá, dice you, no dice tú. Ajá. Yes, it has two options. Some people say education and others education. Both are correct, Eli. Mm, but but yes, you, this one is addition. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to give you some words you can use to show interruption. Las que les voy a mencionar son para mostrar una interrupción. Okay. Okay, aquí está but. You can use but. And the formal option, formal option, I will use a slash. However, nevertheless, nevertheless, no sé si se recuerdan que también vimos yet, right? Que significa but, también yes. puede significar but. Les voy a dar ejemplos. Okay, I will give you examples. The same. Okay. I want to study. Esa es otra manera de la que pueden utilizarlos con un period y luego capital, capital letter. Okay. I want to study. However, I'm tired. I want to study, however, I'm tired. Or I want to study, but I'm tired is the same. And this is the informal way, the most common way to say it. The same, I'm going to say the same. I want to study, nevertheless, Nevertheless, I'm tired. And option number four, I want to study, yet I'm tired. Is the same, but you have different options. Ahora, but is the most common one. However, and nevertheless, people mostly use it in informal, informal speaking. However, y nevertheless, más que todo lo usan en, en manera formal, en escritos, en escritos, pero no los utilizan mucho al conversar. Okay. Esas son para mostrar interruption. We also have suddenly. Suddenly. Are you familiar with this word? No sé si la han escuchado. Suddenly. No, esa es de repente. Yes. Yes. Okay. De repente. So, I was sleeping. I was sleeping. Suddenly, I heard a sound. I was sleeping. Suddenly, I heard a sound. Now, utilizando suddenly to show interruption. Suddenly, that's the pronunciation. And then ending. Okay, ya para finalizar algo that you're talking about, talking about sequence, volviendo a secuencias. Okay, I'm going to give you other options. Creo que ya teníamos finally, ¿verdad? Finally. And you can also use in conclusion. Teacher, sorry. Uh -huh. uh, what's the meaning suddenly? Suddenly. En, suddenly. Eh, de repente. Ah, thank you. Uh -huh. And this is to sum up, uh, summarize something. Uh, Okay, here you can use in the end, or you can change the preposition 
at the end. Okay, to finish something. You have finally, in conclusion, to summarize. To summarize is the same as in conclusion. Este que aparece acá es lo mismo que, que in conclusion. I will put it here. Voy a poner acá. To summarize. Okay, so I wanted to give you more, more words. Can you create, if you don't have questions, can you create some sentences? Three sentences. Using this one. The one here. And however, okay. Three sentences using the words in, in yellow. Pueden hacer tres oraciones, please. Utilizando to begin, at the end, and however. Going to give you a moment. Let me know when you have them, please. Thank you, Galileo. It was it was You're well. Mm -hmm. I I just read it. Is there anybody else ready? What do you think about it? Just one question, Galileo. Is it in past tense, present tense? 
present tense. In present tense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's in present tense, yes, mm -hmm. the grammar is correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now let me see. How are you doing, Wendy? Are you ready? No, not yet. Saida? Sorry, teacher, no, you <laughs> Okay, I just wanted Estoy to know intentando. how you're doing. Okay. If you need, you can use them in different sentences. Si necesitan, lo pueden utilizar con diferentes oraciones o diferentes situaciones. Como que yo diga, I want to go to the beach, but, however, I can't because I don't have money. Okay? If you need to, you can use them in three different cases. Juan Carlos, the one you sent, looks great. Mm -hmm. And you use everything in one, with one idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can see you use present tense, future tense. Uh -huh. Correct, Mayra. That one will be correct. Uh -huh. Okay, Jenny, thank you. Just one question. When you say pleasure, what are you referring to? Uh, like, agradecer, or what do you mean, Jenny? Eh, sí, mis que agradezco. Ah, okay. Vamos a utilizar esto, Jenny. I appreciate. That will be the, the correct word. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate their opinion about the project. Uh -huh. However, the, however, I need their opinion about the, the procedure. Procedure. Uh -huh. uh, a motorcycle. Motorcycle. I will send it in the chat, Ellie. And so I want to. Uh, we go to the beach. At the end, we will eat fish. Okay, thank you, Ellie. Laura, at the end of the race, he wins. In present tense, Laura quedaría, he wins. Si es past tense, he won. Robert. Eh, ahí en la number two, Laura puede poner at the beginning, Robert eh, ate a good breakfast. I will send it in the chat. At the beginning, the beginning. Robert ate a good breakfast. That will be the change. You can do it. Mm. Number three. Si la, si la traduzco, Laura, quedaría bien. Pero in English, 
sería you can do it if you want to. If you want to would be the right word. If you can think about another one, Laura, please let me know. Se puede pensar otra con however. Okay. And I will take the attendance in, in this moment. So let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martinez. Present teacher. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Jonathan. Present, miss. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present. Uh -huh. Juan Carlos Present. Rivas. Present. Present. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción, María Elena, Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Nelson Merino, Cabarrete. Aquí. Okay. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo, Zaira Carolina, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Jenny. Jenny Present Santos. Okay, thank you, Sai. Okay, thank you. The ones who already finished, para los que ya terminaron, we will continue in the book. In the book, we have a, an activity. An activity to do. Activity number 10. The instruction says, write a 10-line paragraph where you describe a process you have to follow in your workplace. Okay, write a 10 line paragraph about a process you have to follow. Es de escribir o componer un párrafo que sea de 10 líneas and describe a process you have to follow Y tienen que describir un proceso que ustedes tienen que seguir en su trabajo. Y vamos a usar... Teacher, era, no, ya lo habíamos hecho. O es era un, un action plan. Ajá, Otro. Un action, un ah. action plan, el que, el que hicieron. Era un poster, ajá, que se parecía el poster. But this one is a paragraph. It's a paragraph where you describe... Y aquí vamos a usar, vamos a usar sequence words. First, I have to do this and describe one, one of your processes. Do you have a question about point number seven? Do you have oh. doubts? No. Okay, if you need me, please let me know. Okay, similar, uh -huh, it's similar to the other one, but it's not, it's not the same. And in the meantime, I will continue checking your, your sentences. Okay. Okay, Wendy, uh, the, the sentence about the beach is correct, Wendy. You have to use however to practice that one. Era usando however, but is the same, right? But it's, it's okay. Then Nelson, I have, Nelson, sorry, ¿qué quiere decir en su primera oración? I have many work, also I have to, to study. Hello. Uh, ya entendí, eh, I, I got it. ¿Cuál era, okay, la, okay. ¿cuál era la, la phrase que, que quería utilizar, Nelson? Porque no veo ninguna. Eh. Oh, sí, I'm sorry, no la puse, Miss. <laughs> ok. Y en la otra, oh, sí. eh, si puede cambiarla en vez de but, ponga el however, que es el que estamos ah, okay. practicing. Ok, Nelson. I'm sorry, sí, no. ok. 
Y la última también que hizo, I want to visit my family, finally I'm sick. Finally, Nelson, es una palabra para, para decir como al final o por último, cuando está hablando de una secuencia. Entonces, ah, okay. tiene que como que, como que describa una, una receta, ¿verdad? Y que ponga todos los pasos y el último, ¿verdad? Así que no, ajá, ah, ajá, no aplicaría. No aplica. Ajá. Try oh. to do them again. Trate de hacerlas otra vez y yo aquí las, las reviso. El okay. del Rodrigo. Yes, Rodrigo. Thank you. Thank you. They look good. At the end of at the end of the day, maybe at the work or at the end of the work day, leave everything in order. Okay. Thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. And Laura, uh -huh, the other one is is better. So thank you, Laura. The one about your mom. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Now, Carlos, let me look at the chat here. Okay, Carlos, thank you. I will change, I will change some things. I'm going to send you a message to make some little changes. Just give me one moment. Hi, Anna. I read the, the sentences. I, I sent one change. I sent one change in the chat. You can say yeah. to begin. And then if you want to be a little bit more specific, to begin the day or to begin. Y luego ahí le puse el change. I start, yeah. I make, I make dinner. Con la número right. dos, I, I am a little bit confused. No sé si Ajá. es como que no se llega a ningún lugar. Ah, yo quise poner es que, o sea, en el trabajo le tocó duro ahí. Uh -huh. 
No sé si no lo puse bien, Tisha. Pero quiere usar however. Not right. Eh, pero. Yes. Uh -huh. Dígame cómo lo <coughs> quisiera decir. Eh, cuando llegó al trabajo, este, al inicio no le tocó pesado, sino como al final. Pero al final le tocó eh, pesado el trabajo. No sé cómo, o sea, la estructuración entonces está mal. Es algo así. Bueno, yo le puedo decir cómo más o menos diría. Puede ser, in simple words, the day was... Easy. Uh, the day was easy. However, uh -huh. however, at the end of the day, it was more difficult. At the end of the day, algo así, algo así quedaría lo que usted quisiera ah, okay. decir. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's okay. O sea, teacher, que no específicamente tiene que ir al final, al de Al final este de caso. todo. Uh -huh, el home. No, a, de no. hecho. Puede ir a, a, en medio. Al de No iría en medio. O sea, como al final y usted va a detallar el último paso de algo. Como uh -huh. ah, que ya. yo diga, a ti en y ya menciona el qué. Como cuando da la, ah, okay. la, los ingredientes, ¿verdad? O la secuencia de una receta. Y ya dice, a ti en, y ya menciona el paso. Uh -huh. Ok. Algo así. Thank you. Ajá. Has anyone finished the, the paragraph? No. Yes, Lily. Iría con, ir con la explicación de lo que se hace en cada uno o solamente puedo mencionar los, los procesos. What do you mean? Could you explain again, please? Okay. ¿Puedes repetirlo, Lili? Le preguntaba que si en lo de ahorita solo se puede mencionar, por ejemplo, en My Work, The Process, eh, Disney Process, eh, solo ah, okay. mencionarlo así o explicar qué se hace cada uno. I will give you an idea. Le voy a dar una idea para que vea más o menos cómo lo hace. 
tiene que hablar de un proceso que hace en su trabajo. Vaya, yo. In my case, I am a teacher. Vaya, yo voy a hablar de esto. Planning a class. El procedimiento que yo sigo para planear una clase. Y si usted quiere, lo puede hacer así. First, para que no lo haga como un paragraph y le cueste menos. Puede poner first y qué hago yo primero. First, I read the info or the information I have to give. Ok, eso es lo primero que yo hago cuando planeo una clase. Ok, es el primer paso, eh, Lily. Pero luego hay que seguir. Second, ok, I create a lesson plan. Ok, y aquí voy detallándole yo mi procedimiento para planear una clase. Entonces usted, Lily, tiene que buscar un procedimiento de algo que hace en su trabajo y contarme cómo lo hace. That is what you have to do. Yeah, yeah, what do you do? ¿Qué hace usted en su trabajo, Lili? What do you do? Eh, yo trabajo llenando formularios y ah, presentándolos en ese traje. Ok, puede hablarme de cómo llena uno de los formularios. That could be one. Mm -hmm. El procedimiento, el orden que sigue. Así como Wendy, Wendy sells travel tickets, right? Wendy vende boletos. Puede hablar del procedimiento que sigue para vender uno. ¿Verdad? O cuando es un tour. Ok, ¿qué hace? Y son 10 lines. Si no lo quieren hacer como un paragraph, ok, hagan oraciones. First, second, next, y and you continue. Si les sale más fácil así. Thank you, Juan Carlos. You did very well in the form of a paragraph. Can you read it, please? So your classmates have more ideas. Just at the, at the end, Juan Carlos, include I. I send the report to the manager. Solo agreguemos okay. el subject a la última. Okay, Juan okay. Carlos. First, I have to attend a meeting early. early. After that, I had to write the road report, then receive the road report of last day. Next, I give the instruction for some service orders. Next, I supervise to some code forms. Finally, I send the report to manager. Okay, Juan Carlos, thank you. It looks well. I appreciate it. We will wait a moment, Juan Carlos. Vamos a esperar un momento antes que sigamos. I will wait a moment for your classmates to finish and then we will have a, another activity. No, 
It looks black. Ahorita se ve negro. Yo enciendo la cámara y solo se ve negra la pantalla. No veo que me vean. I can see you in this moment. Ahorita sí. I can see you again. Ok. No sé qué pasa. Me está dañando Thank you, Nelson. I just read your, your uh, paragraph. That is your work, your work process, what you do in the company. Eso es lo que Hello. usted hace en su trabajo. Sí, mis, bueno, me sale pequeño porque no, no hago mucho, <laughs> poco trabajo, no. Okay. Me hace bastante grande, pero sí. Pero, mire, el proceso inglés, que ya se ve bien corto por mi trabajo. Les cuesta un sí. poquito más también. <ríe> you, Nelson. Y realmente todavía me. <ríe> ok. It's ok, but Lo enviamos al, al chat. Ajá, here or on WhatsApp. En cualquiera de los dos. Ok, everyone, if you haven't finished, please finish over the weekend or later. Si no lo terminaron, por favor, complétenmelo después. Ok, y yo lo leo. Jenny, Galileo, I will give you feedback later. Que yo lo leo y les envío feedback. But thank you. We will continue in this okay. moment. Vamos a, a proseguir. We will proceed with the class. And if you haven't finished, it's okay. You can complete it later. Si no lo han terminado, lo terminan después. Si no quieren ahora, because it's Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Okay, no, no problem. Don't worry about that. Okay, so let's continue. We will have um, a pronunciation, okay, a pronunciation part in the class. Vamos a practicar pronunciation. 
I have an article that we will practice a lot. I'm going to do it first, okay? And later, you are going to read this with your classmates. Voy a leerlo yo acá primero y luego lo van a estar leyendo varias veces en un room, okay, con su grupo. Y yo voy a llegar a escucharlos. But you will practice as much as possible. Okay. And I sent this in the group también. Ahí se los envié en el grupo. Si no, ahorita lo busco y les digo. Okay, give me one moment. It's, dice D, tiene el nombre de D10 reading. I think I sent it. O oh, no se los he enviado. No. I didn't. Okay, si no, ya se los envío in one moment. Okay, so it says, number one, my family and I moved to the United States last month and our friends tell us that we should leave a tip when we eat at a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or waitress after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip in all kinds of restaurants, even fast food? And if we don't like the service, is it really necessary to leave a tip? Two, my friends and I want to open our, our own restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter, then is going to be the cashier and I'm going to be the chef. We want to open the restaurant close to the college where we study. Our classmates say they are always, they are always hungry. Can you give us any advice about the kind of atmosphere, atmosphere the restaurant should have and the kind of food we should have on the menu. And do you think opening a restaurant is a good idea? I live right next to a restaurant and I'm one of, the, of their best customers. I usually eat dinner there three or four times a week. I enjoy eating there, but I think I spend too much money. And I think some of the food I order, like pizza and hamburgers, isn't very healthy. On the other hand, I'm too tired to cook after I come from work. What advice can you give me? Okay. Uh, if you don't have the document, I'm going to send it again in this moment by WhatsApp. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, you will receive it in one moment. I'm going to divide you and you have to read. Read and read the article. Vamos a practicar pronunciation y léanlo todo el tiempo que puedan. Solo turnense, okay? Y pueden leer. There are three, three situations. One moment. There are three situations y vamos a trabajar en grupos de three. Por ejemplo, si yo soy Emma, maybe Juan Carlos can be Michael and Lily could be Martha en el primer round. En el segundo round vamos a cambiar el rol. We switch, vamos a cambiar y vamos a continuar leyendo para practicar pronunciation and fluency. Cuando yo llegue, lo tienen que leer as fast as you can. Good pronunciation. Okay, do you have a question about the activity? Doubts? No, ma'am. No. Okay, let me just check here. Share donde envió ese documento. What's up? Uh, I'll send it. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Okay, please 
accept the invite. Hi, Jonathan, lo envié de regreso porque dijo que va a estar de oyente, ¿verdad? Porque se siente mal. Hi, Entonces, sí, por eso lo, lo traje de regre. But Bye, it's okay. Se puede quedar acá. No problem. Bueno. Ok. Hi, teacher. Hi. How can I help no you? No podemos compartir. I, ah. I cannot yes. compart it. Share. You can sure. share the screen. Okay, I just yes. activated the option. I granted you the access. Okay, Thank sorry. You. So please repeat, practice fluency, pronunciation, and in a few minutes I'll come, okay, to hear you. Okay, we'll see you in a moment. Goodbye. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hi, Zaira. Va a poder trabajar. Si no, le mando al otro room y se queda ahí en, en lo que este, practicamos. Porque sé que no se siente muy bien ahorita de salud. Quiere que le envíe okay, al, al otro room y voy a enviar a Ana otro, con otro grupo. Está okay. bien, teacher. Gracias. Bye. Uh -huh. okay. Vaya. El mío es aquí. Okay, one moment, Ana, voy a hacer un cambio aquí en el room. Okay. Ya voy a... Right. Okay, would you like to read? ¿Quiere comenzar a leer? Yo la escucho. Okay, se está bajando. Aquí. Eh, my family... Uh, and I moved to the United States last month and our friends tell you the we should live a tip when we eat a, a restaurant. How much money should we lay for the waiter or waiters after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip in the all kids on um, restaurants, even fast food restaurants? And if we don't like the service, it is really necessary. Uh, no sé cómo pronuncia, necessary. La siguiente palabra que está ahí. Me menciona, eh, la necessary, de no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ah, sí, necessary. Uh, sí, ah, right. Necessary. Uh -huh. Necessary to leave a tip. Uh, dear Anita, my friends, uh, and I want to open all those restaurants. Mm -hmm. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter. Dan is going to be the cashier. And I am going to be the chef. We want to open the restaurant, close the columns where we study. All classmen say they are always hungry. Can you give us any advice about the kids of atmospheres and atmosphere? atmosphere. Atmosphere. Sorry, Anna. Sorry that I interrupt you. Hi, Jenny. I, I sent you here because Anna is, is working alone. Just one question, Jenny. Are there four people in the other room? Todavía quedaban cuatro en el otro room. Sí. Okay. Um, sí. Nelson four, sí four. estaba ahí entonces con ustedes. Yes. Galileo, oh, okay. Carlos y okay. Juan Carlos. Ok, vamos a a extraer a alguien más. Ok. So, hoy sí, hoy sí vamos a estar. Ah, vale. I was practicing with Ana. 
Ay, ¿Qué pasó, Nelson? Me quedé leyendo por otro grupo. <risa> sorry. Estaban esperando. Ahí. Bueno. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Nelson, you will be working with Ana and Jenny. They practice in the fluency, okay? Repitan, 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 y luego yo vuelvo. Okay. Um, do you have any okay. questions before I, I leave? Okay. No. No. no, y esa era no. atmosphere, Ana. Así era, atmosphere. atmosphere. Ah, right. ahí. Y okay. recuerde, atmosphere. should no se pronuncia la L. La L es silent. Sure, Así es sure. como suena. Okay. Should. Should. Uh -huh. Should. Ah, uh, right. Correct. Sure. Ok. Sure. All right. See you in, sure. in one or two minutes. I'll return. Hi, Lily. Hello. Are you practicing? Are you practicing Good the reading? Meaning. Yes, and yes. I will. I will hear you. Vine para, para escucharlos. So, let's begin. Okay, Omar, you are going to be Emma. Y luego Michael va a ser Lily. Ready, Omar? Jesus. Ah, ok, 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 ok. Buen momento. Michael. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Yes. Ready. Ok, go. My Michael o es Emma? Emma. Ah, ok. My family. Uh, I move to the unit, unit stay last month and Our friends tell us that the that we should live a tip when we eat a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or warrior after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip on all kid or restaurant? Even fast food restaurant. And if we don't like the service, it is really necessary to leave a tip. Thank you very much, Omar. You, uh -huh. I'm going, no, si contamos todas, son como un 5% of mistakes. So very few. I'm going to help you. Move. Move. United no es, States. ¿Mm? Move, miss, move es, es no de mover. Uh -huh. ah, okay. De move. moverse a otro, ajá, en este sentido a otro país. Move. Ah, ok. Move. Pero sí, también move. es de mover algo. Move. Ok. United, United. States. United. Ah, United. 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 Okay, Miss. United. Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. 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 Even. Even. Kind. Kind. Esto no es de, de, de niño. No, es es kids. kids. Okay, yes, it's kinds, the Hi. tipos, tipos de. Ah, ok, Hi. Ok, este ejercicio se trata de fluidez y pronunciación. Lo que yo quiero uh -huh. es que ustedes practiquen para que yo cuando venga los escuche decirlo lo más rápido posible, uh -huh. pero con buena pronunciación. Yo lo voy a leer súper rápido. Dice, my family and I okay. moved to the United States last month and our friends tell us that we should leave a tip when we eat at a restaurant. How much money should we leave to the, for the waiter or waitress after we finish our meal? Should we leave tip in all kinds of restaurants, even fast food restaurants? And if we don't like the service, is it really necessary to leave a tip? <laughs> okay, so okay. I know you won't do it like that, but the idea is, Fluency. Quiero que lo lean en alto, ambos, túrnense y repitan, porque entre más lo hagan, se les va a quedar la pronunciación. Por eso los he dejado con un grupo okay. reducido, para que lo hagan y lo hagan y lo hagan. 
Ok, Lili, vamos a tratar con, con Michael. You are Michael, Lili. Ready? Read slowly, Lili. Léalo despacio porque ahorita quiero escuchar su pronunciación. Okay. Pero ¿cuál es el de Michael? <risa> el que está acá. Ok. My friends and I want to open our own restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter. Dan, Dan is going to be the cashier. And I going to be the chef. We want to open the restaurant closet to, to the call. Esa palabra no sé. College. College. Where we study. Or class. Class. Mayors. Say they are always hungry. Can you. Can you give. Use any. Advice about the kings or. Of. A most. Better the restaurant should have an and the king of food we should have on the menu. And do you think opening a restaurant is a good idea? Thank you, Lily. I will help you with the ones you see in, in brown. Cashier. Cashier. Mm -hmm. Classmates. Classmates. Mm -hmm. Hungry. Hungry. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Uh -huh. Kind. Kind. Mm -hmm. La diferencia es que esa es kind y la otra que leía Omar era kinds. If oh. you want to, pueden, puede Omar seguir leyendo esta y luego lee Lily. La misma para que lo hagan más rápido, ¿verdad? Fluidez en pronunciation. Okay. Okay. Los voy a dejar acá otra vez. So you can continue. Y si me necesitan, um, let me know. Okay, let me know when I'll come back. Okay, okay. Miss. All right, see you. Comienzo, comienzo en el uno. Hi, everyone. Bien, I moved to the United States last month. And the other friend tell us the where should live a drive when we at uh, at the restaurant. How, how much money should we leave for the waiter or wait waiters after we finish our meals? Should we leave a trip in the all kind of restaurant, even fast food restaurant? And if we don't, doesn't like the service. It is necessary, it really is necessary to leave a trip. No, okay, no very friend. good pronunciation. Sorry to interrupt you. I came to, ah, to listen to you. Uh, okay, you did very well. Can you repeat these two words, Carlos? Waiter or waitress? <laughs> Waiter. 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 Or waitress. Or waitress. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Galileo, can you read the second one, please? Okay. My friends and I want to open our own restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter. Dan is going to be the cashier. And I'm going to be the chef. We will want to open the restaurant close to the college where we study. Our classmates say they are always hungry. Can you give us any advice about the kind of atmosphere the restaurant should have and the kind of food we should have on the menu? And do you think opening a restaurant is a good idea? Okay, good pronunciation, good fluency, Galileo. Just two words. Try to say hungry. 
hungry. Ajá. Atmosphere. Hungry. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Yes, correct. Okay. Juan Carlos, could you read the next one, please? The one that is at the bottom. The last could one. You, uh -huh, could you scroll down, uh, Carlos? Scroll down, please. Please. Can you scroll down? Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Dear Anita. Dear Anita. I live right next to a restaurant and I and I'm one of their best customers. I usually eat dinner there three or four times a week. I enjoy eating there, but I think I spend too much money. And I think some of the food that I order, like pizza and hamburgers, isn't very healthy. On the other hand, I'm too tired to cook after I come home from work. Excuse me, what I, can you give me? Estaba pensando que cocine en la casa. Sale más barato. That's true. Uh -huh. But yes, good pronunciation, Juan Carlos. Maybe the fluency. Just try to do it faster and that's so, yeah, going to be better. Uh -huh. Continue practicing because I want you to practice fluency and pronunciation. I will do it fast, lo voy a hacer yo fast, para que no, no siguiendo la puntuación, solo leyendo as fast as, as I can. So I live right next to a restaurant and I'm one of the best customers. I usually eat dinner there three or four times a week. I enjoy eating there, but I think I spend too much money. And I think some of the food I order, like pizza and hamburgers, isn't very healthy. On the other hand, I'm too tired to cook and I come, I come home from work. What advice can you give me? Okay, so it's the same, but I'm trying to do it fast. Okay, so continue practicing, porque es como un trabalenguas. Entre más lo digan, va a ir sonando más rápido, okay? So please continue. Okay, continue, but you're doing well. You have the pronunciation. Just practice fluency. La pronunciación está muy, muy bien. Ahora la fluidez. Okay, um, I'm going to let you continue. See you in one moment. Bye. To cook after I come home from work. What advice can you give me? Hi guys, how are you doing? Hi. ¿Qué tal va la fluency? Uh, good. <laughs> Vaya, vamos a probar entonces, hoy sí. Let's begin. Jenny, can you read the Emma's one? Oh, and by the way, Emma. Anna, advice. That's advice. the advice. Uh -huh, that's the one. Okay, right. Jenny, let's do it. Dear Anita, my family and I moved to the United States last month. And our friends tell us that we should leave a tip when we eat at a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or waitress after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip in all kinds of restaurants, even fast food restaurants? And if we don't like the service, is it really necessary to leave a tip? Thank you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. The fluency is better and good pronunciation. Only three words, three words that we have to improve. Moved. Could you say it again? Moved. Much. Moved. Much. Even. Even. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pero Moved. está bastante bien la pronunciation. Even. La idea es que lo digan lo más que lo puedan porque la fluidez se va ganando con el tiempo. Lo voy a hacer rápido, pero sin tanto con, con los puntos, pero va, la pronunciación siempre iría. Por ejemplo, my family and I moved to the United States last month and our friends tell us that we should leave a tip when we eat at a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or waitress after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip in all kinds of restaurants, even fast food restaurants? And if we don't like the service, is it really necessary to leave a tip? And that's it, okay? So, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Yes. Practicando fluency, okay? 
Yo sé que cuesta porque hay que pensar en la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Hacer la cuesta. Entonces, por eso los he dejado en grupos reducidos, para que lo hagan y lo hagan y lo hagan y que vayan ahí mejorando su pronunciation too. Nelson, Michael Nelson, please. Vamos con, con Michael. Ready? Okay. Dear Anita, my friend son are going to the open or home restaurant. My friend Chris is going to the be waiter. Dan is going to the be to the kitchen and I am going to be the chef. We want to open in the restaurant close to the college. We 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 study our classmate say the Aris was hungry. Can you guide is uh, any advice about the kind of atmosphere the restaurant should has and the gift of food we should have on the menu? And do you think uh, opening a restaurant is a good idea? Okay, very well, Nelson. You were doing it fast. I'm going to help you with some words. Okay, the one you see here, that one is idea. Idea. Okay. Idea. idea. Hungry. Hungry. College. Uh, college. 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 Hay que hacer como una CH al final. Como cuando uno dice chamaco. Ese ch, hay que hacerlo al final. College. Uh, college. Ajá, college. College. Ajá, ahí está ese ch. Ok, but Colex. you did very well. Y recuerde, idea. That is the right way to idea. say it. Idea. Yes. A good idea. Good okay. idea. Thank you. Thank you. Ana, can you read Marcos? Okay. Okay. Dear Anita, I live right next to a restaurant and I go, I am one the day best customer. I usually is dinner the three or four times a week. I enjoy eating their bags. I think I speak too much money and I think so of the foods. I order like pizza and hamburgers. It is very healthy. On the on the other hands, I am too tired to cook after. I come home from work. What advice can you give me? Mm, okay, very well. Uh -huh, very good pronunciation. Y escuché que ya dijo advice. Uh -huh. advice. Thank you, Ana. You did well. Continue. Continue in the next minutes. Todavía tengo que ir a escuchar otros uh, rooms, otros grupos. But continue okay. practicing, okay? Do okay. you have questions okay. before I leave? No sé si querían preguntarme algo before I go. Uh, no, no. no Teníamos la, la, bueno, <ríe> esa palabra de idea. Ah, de idea. La idea. Ajá. idea. Y la All otra right. era también idea. atmosphere, ¿verdad? Atmosphere. Así se right. Ok, see you okay. in one moment. Bye, bye. Hi, Mayra. Hello, Eli. Hello, teacher. Sorry que no había venido, pero iba con cada room. Pero vengo a escucharlas, a ver qué tal les quedó ya. Empezamos bueno. con Mayra. Ok, Mayra, bueno. vamos a empezar con Emma. Ready? Sí. Fluency sí, sí. and pronunciation, Mayra. Ok. My family and I moved to the United States. Last month and our friend tell us that we should live a tip when we eat a restaurant. How much money should we leave for the waiter or waitress after we finish our meal? Should we leave a tip uh, in our kinds of restaurant, even fast food restaurant? And if we don't like the service, it, it isn't necessary to leave a tip. Okay, good pronunciation and good fluency. Ok, it sounds good, Mayra. Maybe esta, la que vamos a poner acá, y la que está acá. No sé si oí bien o no, pero eh, sonaba distinta. Ese es kinds. 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 Y este es united. 
Ah, United. United States. Sí, esa la dije mal. Ajá, entonces uh -huh. quedaría así, United States y kind. Pero de ahí estaba bastante bien. Waiter, waitress. ¿Mm? So Eso, think... Ajá, waitress. Uh, ajá. Waiter, técnico. waitress. Waitress. Yes, waitress. correct. Now let's listen to Francis. Michael. Michael. My friend, my friend and I want to open our own restaurant. My friend Chris is going to be the cashier. Then is going to be the... Ay, me equivoqué. My friend Chris is going to be the waiter. Then is going to be the cashier. And I'm going to be the chef. We want to open the restaurant close to the college where we study. Our class, classmates say they are always hungry. Can you give me us any advice about the kind of atmosphere the restaurant should have in the kind of food we should have on the menu? And do you think opening a restaurant is a good idea? Thank you. Okay. It was a very good fluency as well, Francis. And just this word, cashier. cashier. That, is the, uh -huh, that is the right way to say it, cashier. But very cashier. well. Uh -huh, very well. Let's go with the next paragraph. Vamos a empezar primero con Mayra. Mayra, vamos con el que está at the bottom, el que está abajo. Can you scroll okay. down? Okay. Can you read, Mayra? I live right next to a restaurant and I am one, one of their best customers. I usually eat dinner there three or four times a week. I enjoy eating there, but I think I spend too much money. And I think some of the food I order like pizza and hamburger isn't very healthy. On the on, on the other hand, eh, I <laughs> sorry, Mayra. Hi everyone, welcome back. Mayra, Hi, teacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. La extrañamos, teacher. La extrañamos. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> ya no logré llegar. Solo ustedes me quedaron pendientes. Ah, Los no, classmates sí, saben sí. ahí que, que me demoré un poquito con cada team. So I'm sorry, I was listening to each one of you. But um, let's continue on Monday. Queda pendiente la segunda parte de los que ya les di feedback, ¿verdad? Para que lo leamos as fast as we can on Monday. Vamos a empezar con okay. esa actividad. Vamos a, eh, les mencionaba a los demás, sorry, me quedé con Laura y Wendy, me quedó, ¿cómo dicen? Burra creo que se llama, ¿verdad? Cuando uno no termina algo. Ok, me quedó un no, grupo. Me... Yes, dejó, I'm sorry. Dejó, Yo, dejó trabajo me... para el lunes. Tío. Ajá. Eh, fluency, <risa> vamos a estar practicando fluency. Practiquen todos los, los eh, comments y puede que cualquiera de esos les toque, ¿verdad? Para practicar fluency. Okay. But the pronunciation was very well con los equipos. Casi todos ya lo mejoramos bastante. Ok, sorry, I will take the attendance. Yo sé que es Friday y el día más difícil de la semana. Ya están cansaditos. I'm sorry, so let's, let's do it. Uh, just one, one question. Uh, Jonathan está enfermo. Rodrigo ya pasó. Juan Carlos, are you going to stay with me? Se va a quedar Jonathan. ¿Se puede quedar hoy? Or not? No, no mis no puedo hoy. Uh, John, uh, perdón, es Juan Carlos. Quería decir Juan Carlos. Can you stay tonight, Juan Carlos? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So, me quedaré con usted. Okay, really quick. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo, Jose Galileo, Present. Jose Jonathan, Present. Jose Rodrigo, Present, teacher. Juan Carlos, Present. Laura Carolina, 
Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you, Oscar Arnulfo. Zaira Marleni. Present Wendy. teacher. Thank you, Wendy Maribel. Present and Jenny, teacher. Jenny Santos. Okay, guys, I'm sorry Present. for the delay. I really hope you enjoy the weekend. See you on Monday. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. bye. Monday. Bye. 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 Have a nice weekend. Yeah, have a nice Blessings. weekend. Thank you. Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Yes, Mayra, tell me. No, ya no. Solo una pregunta. El examen tenía que hacerlo para entregárselo ahora. No, next week, la porque todavía no. No hemos terminado la unidad. El midterm test está ya, hasta la... Ah, ni la tarea. La tarea Ajá. queda como a la mitad. Vamos como en la, en la unit, como en la tarea dos o tres. Vamos ahorita, Mayra. Porque es que yo me puse a hacerla y sentí como, ajá, me, me confundí Todo porque raro. cada vez me salía como partida. Ajá, cabal. Ajá, es que no hay diez tareas para esta unidad. Son solo cinco, pero están divididas en dos semanas. Así que prácticamente Entonces no hay. Para el siguiente. Ajá, a la siguiente. Así que ahorita no queda nada ya a corte. Hasta la otra semana. Ah, ok. Ah, pues muchas gracias. Feliz noche. You're welcome. It's ok. okay. No me puedo salir, Pichón. Ok, no la salga. vamos a remover. Ya se salió. Hi, Juan Carlos. How are you doing? Uh, tired. Tired, yes, I know. Fridays are like that, are yes. one of the most difficult days. Ya el cuerpo lo sabe, como dicen. Ya lo sabe. Que it's Friday. Y más que so. estoy reponiéndome todavía. Ajá. And you went back to work, right? Me imagino que sí. ya regresó también. Ya estábamos, sí, estamos también en, la, eh, en el nuevo local. O sea, empezamos a, ah, a trasladarnos. Yes. Estamos Ajá. haciendo ya en la noche. Ajá. Bueno, todo el día y ocupando la noche también. Wow. Eso me costó sí, le ha tocado bici ahorita. Sí. <ríe> Espero yo que ya la otra semana estemos. ¿Y weekends o oh, le toca trabajar mañana? Solo hasta mañana, mediodía. Ah, bueno, ¿Cómo un se ratito. ¿Cómo el mediodía? Noon. Until noon. Hasta el, hasta el mediodía. Ah, until noon. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Until noon. Perfecto. Ajá, bueno, por lo eh, menos pues, va a ser un quería ratito. quería preguntar. Darle, uh -huh. teacher, eh, en las clases anteriores siempre he tenido eh, problemas con, con los, ¿cómo se llama esto? Armar la idea. No sé si es por uh -huh. los verbos en pasado, verbos en presente. Pero eh, mi gran problema es escuchar y poder entender. Porque siento que uh -huh. sí, un poquito entiendo cuando leo. O sea, voy leyendo y voy entendiendo, pero me cuesta escuchar, eh, saber escuchar. Entonces, no sé qué tip o, o cómo poder hacer para poderlo entender mejor. Ok, to understand better English, that is what you want. Exacto. Ok. Ah. Ok, es, es una parte difícil quizás, una parte difícil... Bueno, todas tienen su, su dificultad, pero con listening, Juan Carlos, es bastante de práctica. Tienen que hacer bastantes actividades que sean auditivas, por decirlo así. Por ejemplo, puedes ver películas. You have to watch movies in English. Tiene que ver películas Only si English, quiere. No subtitulada. Subtitles, yes. Puede ponerlos porque así el, el cerebro como que como que ve, escucha y ya lo, lo conecta con algo. Entonces, le recomiendo que vea películas que ya conoce, como que ya se las puede bastante, para que usted al mismo tiempo vaya entendiendo, ¿verdad? Porque si no, a, a veces solo verla así nomás cuesta, porque una película contiene bastante vocabulario complejo, dos horas y hablando de un montón de cosas. Entonces cuesta, uh -huh. puede hacer eso. Otra cosa que también ayuda es la música. Music 
Y lo mismo, el mismo ejercicio. Usted escucha la canción, pero trata de ap aprenderse la letra. O sea, de no solo oírla, sino escucharla y aprendérsela. Porque lo mismo, el mismo, el mismo trabajo hace el cerebro. Escucha, pero también conecta. El sonido lo conecta con una palabra. Y okay. también ir expandiendo, ¿verdad? Expandiendo el vocabulary. Le diría que también fuera bueno que hablara o tratara de hablar con alguien en in inglés, pero no sé si tiene la oportunidad como de que tenga sí, alguien. En el trabajo con, tengo con un par de compañeros que hablan inglés y ajá. a veces nos ponemos a hablar inglés. Ajá, Entonces, eso pero también. quizás por la misma pena de ajá. que me vayan a, a hablar inglés. Ajá. Que quieren que... Ah, no, Juan Carlos se la pica y va. ¿eh? Entonces quizás sí. lo dejamos de hacer, ¿verdad? Yes. Pero sí, eh, a veces tengo un compañero que igual, ¿verdad? Habla inglés y él se pone a hablar inglés conmigo. Pero muchas cosas no le entiendo por quizás, por lo mismo, ¿verdad? por el vocabulario que ya no me recuerdo de los verbos, del listado que nos enseñaron en bachillerato. Uh -huh. Y prácticamente quizás eso es una gran base, ¿verdad? Los verbos en todos sus, bueno, en la mayoría de sus, ¿qué serían? Conjunciones. Uh, conjugaciones. Uh -huh. Sí, ajá, los verbos a veces pueden cambiar un montón de una manera a otra. A veces solo es y di al final, ¿verdad? Y ya, pero hay algunos que cambian totalmente. Así que yo, esos y consejos hablando. que podría dar. Ajá. Ok, y hablando de los verbos en pasado, uh -huh. eh, si sí, la pronunciación, los ed, al final, que a veces se pronuncian con ti, eh, como t al final, y a veces se pronuncian como i, como extended, uh -huh. es extended o extended. O sea, ¿qué uh -huh. reglas hay que utilizar? ¿verdad? Y esa clase sí yo no la, no la recibí. No sé ah, qué más puedo leer para poderle entender. Para la regla de Lady Sound. Exactamente. Sí, pero ajá, no me recuerdo si fue con ustedes que se los digo o no. Pero hay una, le voy a mandar algo. Déjeme solo ver. Lady Sounds. Son tres sonidos que existen. Se, suena como, como D. A veces suena como T. Y a veces suena como, como ED. Y hay un... Lo voy a mandar a, aquí. Está en su computer ahorita. O está sí, en... Sí. Vaya. No, en la computadora. Ok. Let me see. Le voy a mandar una página. Y aquí están los sonidos. Y se los voy a explicar. Bueno. No puedo, okay. no puedo compartirlo acá, pero no, por WhatsApp, no sé, ajá, pero es que, quiero que lo, quiero que lo abra. Y allí le va a aparecer el segundo, la segunda imagen que le aparece es una verde, que dice pronunciation of ED. No sé si la mira ahorita. Eh, no me cargo. Solo no. all image news and videos. Ah, pues sí, se la voy a mandar en un ratito. Pero ahí están todas las pronunciaciones. Quiero ver, permítame. Vamos a ver si la puedo mandar ahorita aquí a, a WhatsApp. Aquí está. Vaya, ya la guardé. Ahorita se la voy a enviar en... En eso. Perdón, Juan Carlos, ¿en, ¿en qué número termina su número de teléfono? 4795. 4795. Sí. Ah, ok. Ahorita le voy a compartir el, la picture.
Quizás no me la guardo. No la guardo. Voy a probar otra vez. Ok, vaya, bueno, hoy sí le va a llegar ahí en unos, en unos segunditos. Ahorita que le llegue Juan Carlos, la abre, please, para que se pueda ubicar en, en lo que le estoy hablando. Ahorita dice acá que está cargando. Ok. Se va a tomar un ratito. Y voy a compartir pantalla para okay. mí. Ok. Ya, ¿verdad? Ahorita le llegó. Sí. Bye. Ahí hay dice pronunciation ED. No sé si lo logra ver bien porque está algo pequeño, pero ahí sí. dice, ahí tiene el sonido ED, T y D. Este, esta imagen le explica cuándo tiene que hacer cada pronunciación. Le da dependiendo de la palabra o el sonido final, por decirlo así. Los sonidos que le va a hacer al verbo dependen del sonido final. Vaya, por ejemplo, el que dice ed, ¿verdad? Que dice así, ed. Uh -huh. Dice que ese sonido se hace cuando su verbo termina en t o termina en d. Pero, ¿cómo así? O sea, cuando termina, por ejemplo, así, complete, complete, termina en sonido de t. Uh -huh. Complete o visit. Termina en sonido de T. Visit. Start. Y me dijo uno, creo, hace poco, ¿verdad? Expand. No. O sí, ese me dijo, ¿verdad? Expand. Uh -huh. Vaya. Todos estos son... Extend. Ajá. Entonces, todos estos verbos son verbos regulares. Porque todos los verbos tienen que terminar en ID. ¿Verdad? Que terminen así. Entonces, según la regla, como terminan en sonido de T o D, entonces ya es completed, visited, studied, expanded. Basado en eso. Ah, ok. Solo son para dos, dos sonidos, T y D. Pero si ve la siguiente, el otro sonido que tenemos es de T. Ese es el otro sonido. Que va a sonar la, la E de, va a sonar como T. Y ahí le salen todas las consonantes que toman ese. P, K, F, G, H, S, H, C, H, S, S, C, o X. Cuando terminan en uno de esos sonidos... Entonces se va a hacer este sonido. Por ejemplo, dense. Termina en sonido de sí. Dense. Kiss. Doble C. Kiss. O tenemos ahí fix. Y ahí está la X dentro de esta categoría. Entonces, son regulares. Porque solo hay que agregarle ED. Entonces terminan así. Pero a la hora de decirlos, no va a ser, no va a ser denset, kissed, fixed, ¿verdad? Sino que sonarían algo así. Así, porque así suena la ED. Ya sería Dance. denset. Ajá. Kiss. Kiss. Fixed. Fixed. Correcto. Okay. Entonces la ED ya no suena como ED, sino que suena como T. Sí. Y con la última categoría se sigue el mismo patrón, 
pero ahora va a sonar como D, el último sonido. Y en la, en la cosita que le mandé, en la, en la imagen, uh -huh. ahí uh -huh. salen las, las letras en las que te puede uh -huh. Que ya sería L, N, R, G, V, S, Z, B, M. Entonces ahí le salen algunos. Por ejemplo, love termina en, en V y ese es uno de los sonidos que aplica acá. Love, use, call. Ahí están esas, eh, esas consonantes. Entonces el, el past tense es así. Love. Ajá. Love. Pero, ¿verdad? Love. Ese cómo sería love. Love, ajá, love. love, porque el S ya no suena, es como que love. lo remueva y lo va a cambiar por el sonido, así, y aquí, así, así sonarían, ajá, así como lo hizo, love, use, cold, hay una D al final, al final, uh -huh. Pero Entonces, no, se, o sea, no se pronuncia mucho, ¿verdad? Solo se no, queda como el cold. El como que el más, el más pronunciado es este, el de T y D. Porque suena, ¿verdad? Pero el otro es como más suave, el de T y D. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Que a veces no se, se oye ni más mucho. Un poquito más la lengua para decir la D al final, imagino. Ajá. Siento que ese es fácil, el D. A veces es el T es el un poco más difícil. Por las combinaciones Dance. que hay. Fixed. Uh -huh. Entonces, la tarea suya es aprenderse las consonantes. <risa> Porque es basado en sonidos. Uh -huh. Esta es fácil, T or D. T or D. Pero la de T y D está más larga. Sí, so, y hay más verbos que se utilizan así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Así sí. funciona. Ok. That's the Perfecto. way it works. Y si ya me quedo... Claro, y de practicar. En <laughs> practice, yes. Ok, Juan okay, Carlos. Teacher. We're going to finish Pero here. bastante su tiempo. It's ok. And we continue on Monday. I hope okay, you enjoy please. the weekend. Goodbye, Juan Carlos. Goodbye. See you. Nice.